What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and today Apple has released their latest version of iOS 9, that's iOS 9 Beta 4. So in this video, like usual, I'd like to highlight all of the changes included in this latest version of iOS 9. Apple has been steadily updating it, moving it in a direction that's more usable as we approach the release date, of course. So in this latest beta, there are, of course, a few new changes. You know, it's mostly little bug fixes, and there are still a ton of problems. I mean, at this point, I would recommend you use this as your daily drive if you really really want to not if you absolutely need to because it's buggy it's unstable and honestly this latest release just doesn't feel on par with beta 3 it's like it took a step backwards in terms of performance now I can't speak for battery life yet but let me go ahead and show you all of the new features and changes in this latest beta 4 so probably the biggest change is handoff now I can't show you because it doesn't work with my Yosemite system for some reason but handoff which is usually found on the lock screen the little icon when you're doing something on your MacBook or iPad. It'll give you a little icon over here that you can slide up and open it up on your device. Well, that's been actually added to the app switcher over here. You'll now see it in the app switcher down here, and I have some pictures of it. So in the app card view, this is what you're going to see. And when you drag it up, it'll look just like this. You'll drag up to the application that you're currently using on another device. So pretty much handoff has found a new location in the app switcher. Now it's not going to be removed from the lock screen. It's just added to the app switcher as well. Now, interestingly enough, I recorded the amount of storage I had before the update. I had 48.4 and after updating, I had 48.5. So this gave me a 0.1 gigabyte increase in storage, which is interesting for uh, iOS 9, but that's great. Home sharing for music, which previously disappeared, has now found its way back to iOS 9 beta 4. So down here, you can go ahead and log in and enable home sharing for music. Podcasts can now be used for picture in picture on iPads, the compatible iPads, iPad mini 2 and above and iPad Air and above. So uh, you can go ahead and play podcasts in a little tiny screen down here while doing your other things. And again, that's only for iPads. Now, another cool thing, uh, this wasn't really a feature, but it's now enabled to go ahead and take pictures using the volume buttons in camera. It was a bug that uh, just didn't work in the last beta. So that's been resolved. The news app has received more responsive scrolling. Uh, it's basically a little bit better in terms of performance. And there are some new publishers in here as well. So once this loads in just a second, I'll be able to show you, but pretty much it works a little bit better. Uh, you know, it's just a little bit more fluid. And there are several new publishers to mention as well. So that's a good change in the news app. Now, this beta 4 update is the very first one to support the iPod Touch 6 generation. So you can go ahead and install it if you really want to on your iPod Touch 6 gen. So that's the first firmware from iOS 9 to support the 6 gen iPod Touch. Also, there's a few more settings inside of settings that have changed. So previously, the battery icon was squared. It's like like it wasn't polished, now it's back to the rounded square. The notifications icon has changed to a red icon. So that was previously gray and now it has red on it as well. There's also a new toggle inside of the wallet in Apple Pay to go ahead and disable that double click on home screen uh, to enable Apple Pay. So when your device is locked and usually you double tap, it'll bring up the Apple Pay settings if you have a credit card. Now you can disable that using this new setting. And lastly, if you guys have any HomeKit devices such as Philips Hue hooked up to a HomeKit, you'll be able to see that setting inside of notifications so you can cancel out those notifications in here, you know, customize them. So that's pretty much it guys. iOS 9 beta 4, probably the smallest update out of all of them, but there are a, a few smaller changes inside of it. Performance wise, I got to tell you, for me on my 6 Plus, it's a step backwards. I noticed there's a lot of uh, delay stutter in certain areas. And uh, this is something new. If you actually look there's a pop-up really interesting. Of course, it is a beta. You know, you're not supposed to be running this as your daily driver in any case, but if you guys do, beta 4 is a step backwards. Battery life, I haven't noticed yet. It's too soon to tell, but Apple has pretty much fixed it after beta 2 for me, so that wasn't an issue. So, uh, yeah, beta 4 has some welcome changes in it, but nothing too significant. Beta 3 had a little bit more inside of it. So, when can we expect iOS 9? Well, iOS 9 is probably going to be released as soon as the Worldwide Developers Conference uh, in 2015 for the iPhone success takes place. So we'll probably be seeing it about September 8th, uh, around there, 8th to the 12th. Now, if you guys wanna go ahead and install this and you already have iOS 9 installed, it's just as simple as going into general, 
in settings and software update. In here, you'll see the latest beta. Now, if you guys have the public beta installed, you can install it as well. All you guys need to do to install the latest beta 4 if you're on the public beta is uninstall the beta 4 profile. You'll see it down here if you have one installed and then go back to software update, search, and you will find the latest beta 4. So you can go ahead and do that even if your device isn't registered. It will still work, trust me. Anyways, guys, so that's pretty much it. Also, if you guys want to install iOS 9 beta 4 and you don't have the previous iOS 9 installed, go ahead and click on this video right here. It will take you to the guide on how to do that. It's for beta 1, but it's pretty much the very same guide. You'll be running iOS 9 beta 4. But iOS 9 in general, I mean, it's getting better and better with every single update. We're likely to see probably about two to three more betas before the final GM. We've got about two months to go, so uh, not long until then. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Just wanted to share with you guys iOS 9 beta 4. It has some smaller updates, nothing too significant, but it's all going into a good place, especially performance-wise on older devices. I'm very satisfied with that. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Have a great day and enjoy iOS 9 beta 4 if you've got it installed. Peace.